Okay, um, so <coughs> we will be discussing. I'm recording this lecture for A1, uh, 101 students. Uh, okay, so well, um, let's start discussing um, Movie Maker. What I initially need to do is I need to import um, one of the file. Um, um, I will open up import an MP4 file probably. Just one second. Let me just import a suitable file which is not pretty heavy. Make sure you don't start practicing with a very um, heavy file. You just need to, you can even download from YouTube. Okay. So here we go. I'll just choose a file which is probably 50 MB, um, not that heavy. And here we go. I'll click drag and drop. Frankly, it's a very easy software. Okay, uh, it will just, if you look down over here, it will just take some time for it to import. Once this is done, uh, you can see I can zoom in and zoom out the timeline. Okay, whatever you want. Now let's start with the very basic features. Okay, uh, first of all, the title. You have the title. You can add a title to your movie. Okay, um, obviously, um, start. Okay, uh, your title that you have. If you double click on this, can have a duration. You can set the duration from here. Three seconds, four seconds, how long do you want it to go? You can change the background color of the title, whatever you may want it to be like. Okay. Okay. Um, let, let it remain black. It's fine. You can change the font color from here, the font size from here, bold, italic, obviously just like the way you have it in other softwares. Okay. You can have the start time. Uh, you want this to start after how many seconds. You can even have, have that okay and you um, you can even have different effects for your title to have now these effects are basically what we're talking about they're available in the software and examiner will be using these names this is why we prefer using this software so uh, scroll swing maybe these names are not there in uh, adobe premiere that's why i don't prefer using it for our examination okay <coughs> then what you have is um, I'll just delete the title for a while and we'll just talk about the next part and I'll go into video tools at the very top. Let's see if I come here. I want to do is that I want to start from here. If I want to start from here, remember if I'm the video tools, I can click on set end, uh, end point or I can set the start point. If I click on start point, this means I'll be starting from here. And let's say I want to go till here. So I can set the end point. This means I've set the end point and the start point. One thing is there that you can see down over here that I, I have my timeline okay it tells me that <coughs> where am i stopping where am i starting so it, everything is displayed over there okay my starting point and my ending point all of them you can even increase the timeline more so that you can have more accuracy about every frame that you have okay there are more features available such as the split and the trim split means that maybe i can do is i can split this over here why would i do that let's say i want to have another title over here okay i can call this the the second part and initially i could come here and i can have another title over here saying that this is my first part so <clears throat> i basically have is what i have two different titles and this is possible if i'm able to split it okay uh, and you can in fact have another title even after this as well it's not that only one title is there you can have as many titles as you want to okay and you can even set i repeat again you can even set the duration of your title uh, to how many seconds you want okay now this was um what split basically was uh, you also have trim trim is is used let's say if you want to trim let me do it again uh, if i say, if i say save trim it will basically trim it I'll show you again let me just delete all these then you'll get an idea <coughs> I want to start <coughs> trimming from here and I will want to trim till here so I can define the starting and the ending point that's another way I can trim my video so you see there are different ways through which I can split trim define the starting point define the ending point whatever you want to use 
the important thing is just like in animations that we had the timeline we had to take care of the seconds where one one movie starts and uh, the other movie ends exactly in the same way just like animations we have to take care of this that's one of the most important thing frankly there's nothing much in the software that i can talk about then we have is uh, if you click on the on the movie you have the volume you can even mute the volume just take it to zero make it mute and it's mute now what you can do is you can add some other music i can go into add music and probably let me add over here is uh, one direction or two tunes and i tones and i go and if i play it now so i said that angelina right got the point now i don't have any sound in my video but i have this music file at the back end right and you have over here are some uh, transition effects which means if you're going from one particular uh, part to the other part you can have a transition you can have a transition you can have different transition effects you can place them wherever you may want to okay right if you have if you have applied uh, some caption over here I can have a different effect on, on the caption that I have applied. So there are lots of different effects available. It depends on which particular effect you want to apply on that particular caption that you have. Remember, caption appears on the movie. Title is separate. Credits. If we talk about credits, credits obviously they go at the end. Okay. Okay. Um, you can have your name over here. You can have your center number over here you can have your candidate number i examiner will tell you what to have obviously what will happen is that's how that's credits are being displayed that's what credits are for okay there we go uh, project okay initially when you when you open up your project they will ask you that has to be 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 uh, majority nowadays 16 by 9 is used so initially if they ask you it's available over here okay uh, this is not generic so uh, frankly speaking there aren't many tools over here that we need to explore at the end they will ask you to save it so go into save movie recommended for this project just click on that and you will have over here an mp4 option you can save it wherever you may want to and name it right so this is how you actually have to practice this okay um, so splitting up and all that this is all that we have now how are we going to practice this today because I don't want to discuss video, uh, audio editing today okay that has to be uh, discussed totally separately what we will do is um, you will go to mr. Sime.com. this is your work for today um, my class was just a brief class where I had to just discuss movie maker um, there's more practice just like we're doing in the lab so you go to mrsime.com, you will find um, activities of video editing and sound editing. I would like you to complete these activities first before we attempt pass papers. If you are able to do my activities, pass paper will not be a problem for you at all. So I prefer let's complete the activities. Okay. Uh, try doing the video editing activities today. Uh, if you can't do them, sure, let me know. I will share a video of that as well. But I'm pretty sure you will be able to do it. So it's not a big problem. Uh, just hold on. Let me show you where the activities are. And then I can continue. Oh, I, I just forgot. Tell one thing. Um, see, it just took me like 10 to 15 minutes to discuss this software. But you know, this software is half of P2. Okay. So we really need to practice it a lot. But these are just grace marks I'm telling you. It's it's, it's, it's easiest module. Okay. And uh, 45 to 50 marks, you can easily get 45 out of 45 in this module very easily. It's not something tough. You're right. My internet is slow today. So come into activities.
come into sound video editing and you'll found find video editing over here download this within this you will have you have activities and you also have yeah, the sporting file over there it's refreshing so i've shown you the link D download it and start doing it 